Ever since I was a little kid, I was fascinated by George Washington. And the more I learned about him, the more I became interested in Mount Vernon itself, his country estate on the banks of the Potomac. What a beautiful place. And as I became interested in architectural and garden history, I learned interesting things about how buildings were built. So I wanna just take a moment and talk about the finish here on Mount Vernon. It's called rustication. And what George Washington wanted to do was to take his timber house, these blocks are actually wood blocks, and make the house appear as though it was a masonry house. So with these blocks of wood, they were painted and then a light sand was applied to them. And so it really does give you the sense that this building is built of sandstone. So the principal colors here at Mount Vernon are white. The body of the building is this beautiful sort of creamy white, the color of stone. And then you have the red roof, very iconic. George Washington loved the red roofs. And you can see it across views throughout the estate, which directs you back to the main house. And then, of course, there's the color green, the color of the shutters. And it's also the color we find on the loggia. And one of the most beautiful marriages between the house and the garden here is where George Washington instructed that panel to be painted green on the loggia. And then he trained the Lanicera sempervirens, the native honeysuckle, the scarlet honeysuckle, up the post and onto that fan shape between the arches. And so you had this mirror, this echo of the color of the roof and the bloom. Now at the Garden Home Retreat, we did a similar thing, but on a much more modest scale. You know the house is brick. It was just made of, of ordinary brick, the sorts of bricks that would have been made on any farm in the 19th or 18th century. And so what we did is to give it a sense of unity, to make it look like the materials are actually finer than they are, we did a lime wash on it, with that really pale butter yellow. So there we used a faux finish as well to sort of project and give a certain feeling, just as you see here at Mount Vernon.